hello hello and welcome to this channel uh, about personal finance my name is Simon and uh, we are going to talk about the web 3 what is this so link the channel subscribe hit the like button if uh, we are talking something that is interesting for you web 3 and the climate change what are the implications uh, in that and first and foremost we are entitled to getting to deep dive into what is uh, about web3 uh, web3 is an iteration first for the uh, that triple uh, the world wide web and this iteration comes with First, decentralization, blockchain, technologies, and token economics. And we must understand that. And then when, when uh, we, we, we need a definition about decentralization in this field will be economy, uh, uh, an open economy where the people and the community is involved more in the economy and less the studentites and the big capitals so decentralization not so much the banks involved in everything what uh, you can do or not do with your money or your assets okay and blockchain blockchain as dlt what is this this d as in david uh, l as as and luxembourg and uh, t as in tom distributed ledger technology this is a this is a technology a system this is a, it's a system that um, involve blocks as well, system of blocks or blocks that are uh, um, linked with virtual ledgers. They are like ledgers or books linked by cryptography. They're linked, they're connected, those books ledgers or uh, books ledgers or or virtual uh, blocks are really connected and uh, make operation they they actually make the operation kind of public they make them secure and they make them irreversible that's why we're we talk about this uh, this kind of system the way that they are very uh, very simple and secure to use and to well you must be aware of scams you must be aware of everything else that is involved in cryptocurrency but understanding the ground of these kind of systems are going to allow you to be a player in this new game of the economy in the world so the third the third factor in the web 3 that it, that it's token and please please leave in the comment the comments are free and you are going to comment this video because I know that and if I'm wrong with something you can comment and we can make community with those comments so token is a currency generated by a proof of work the token is like a Bitcoin like ethereum is generated by a proof of work in the case of bitcoin those kind of regulations internally in the currency are generated by the community of the um of the miners the miners are 
the persons that my, that that are involved in the activity of mining bitcoin in the case of bitcoin okay and they are they they must uh, have a proof of work in order to get the tokens that allows them to have the asset as bitcoin called bitcoin okay so very 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 uh, maybe mm, very easy explanation of a very uh, large and com and complex um, subject but it's like that okay token currency generated we gonna generate a currency but it doesn't generate itself it requires a proof of work because you're doing something to get the the cryptocurrency in the case of uh, of uh, bitcoin okay so proof of work proof of stake in the proof of stake in the case of uh, ethereum okay if i'm wrong correct me please so the market, uh, the market assigned. Maybe, maybe I, I'm wrong in, in in some assumptions, and that's good. We can just work it out because this is again a complex uh, concept, uh, a, com a complex uh, fact. This is not easy. Okay, so the market assigned value when you have. Uh, cryptocurrency in your wallet the the market as as uh, the dollar is a currency it's a currency and it it depends on the market the value that the market assigns to this this current this currency the the market conditions what is happening what are the utility of those tokens will determine directly what will be the value of those coins and that's why some of those are called shit coins because they don't have any utility or they they didn't uh have this uh trust in the community and in the market as well so uh, and then because we are talking about web3 and the connection uh, with the the current um the current problem the the actual problem of um, of global warming we we have this carbon credits are tools tools that they call like green taxes and it's a hot topic in this conversation about saving the planet through um, tools um that are uh, that are useful for companies that that uh, want want to continue the business but they are generating contamination are generate generating greenhouse gas emissions so in this case come some solutions and tools for them to work okay and then uh, companies like british airways disney shell they are uh, they are using these climate strategies are as carbon credits in this case and what are those carbon uh, carbon in in the in the case of carbon offsets that is not the same as a carbon credit because a carbon offset is going to be linked to a project uh, direct direct or indirect addresses the project it will be addressed to greenhouse gas em emissions so will be external additional projects that uh, are going to help in this field of greenhouse gas emissions and 
can be projects uh, th those companies that want to to get this uh, this carbon offsets they gotta be involved in projects like eco-friendly buildings planting trees uh, preserving forests uh, forests uh, or capture or capturing existing carbon dioxide from the environment so you're doing something you're doing something for the world and you're then you keep you keep you keep producing these greenhouse gases but you're doing something so uh, that's like an equilibrium in a, a, an equilibrium in this case so when we talk about this carbon credit what are what are we talking what uh, what is that how can we eat that how, uh, as as we say in venezuela so one ton of carbon dioxide dioxide one ton of carbon when has been reduced this one ton of carbon uh, dioxide or removed is reduced uh, it's uh, it has been reduced or removed or removed or removed sorry removed from the environment the government the u.s government in this case they uh, they they issue a certificate to this person or company that reduce one ton of uh, dioxide is reduced or removed from the environment these these uh, certificates this person or, th or this company can sell it to a company that is producing it so it's credit and debit credit and debit this uh, this kind of system so then it's like uh, allowances so you're 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 buying a allowances to the person that is helping that problem that emissions removing those uh, those effects okay and then well um they can when they when they buy this kind of uh, of allowances or certificates they are allowed to emit one metric ton of carbon dioxide in exchange of this so the market the market of this kind of um, of certificates it's uh, it's worth it is worth nearly two billion dollars in the last year so uh, they this market have the supporters and the detractors and well like uh, the environmental protection agency say in this case is a one tool to reduce but is one tool but we are we must be aware that those organizations that use these uh, these kind of allowances must be must uh, must have must they they must uh, review and employ energy efficiency switch to renewable uh, energy trying to to adapt their systems because if not then it's a uh, that then then it's like like the dog that is uh, uh following their tile so renewable energy electrified processes that are associated with direct combustion uh combustion of fuels so they're gonna they're gonna have to adequate their system uh, instead of doing the same thing over and over again so these allowances are effective but not so if the not so well if the if the organizations are not adapting to 
<laughs> to the to to the environmental rules and uh, and the new and the new possibilities that are for uh, <coughs> sorry about that uh, the new possibilities for to to preserve the planet and and uh, just uh, uh, getting getting more contaminations in the environment so they're being criticized uh, some some of uh, of the um, of the organizations um, uh, of em <laughs> environmental friendly organizations they cr they they call them the those uh, those uh, carbon credits and in carbon offsets as a license to pollute and uh, well the, the in in this case mm, uh, they 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 said they say that these funds can be can be spent in some other project and they in the web3 call them as a superhero right now and they are uh, trying to capitalize capitalize the the use for this kind of credits and, uh, and in the case the more more the case of uh, of the of the credits of the credits in the in the carbon credits okay so mckinsey in in their that is a company of uh, web3 mckinsey and they they predict 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 carbon credit market could reach 50 billion by 2030 so that will be a big player in the in the next uh, future so token token is a is another company tokenizes carbon credits so there uh, if uh, if you have a company that are removing removing contamination of the environment and you have those uh, those kind of uh, of credits you can tokenize them and put it in the market so that's those are solutions for that kind of companies uh, tokenizes carbon credits another company air carbon exchange wants to make carbon air carbon exchange is the name of the company they want to make carbon credits more likely like commodities trading another another phase of that uh, uh, using distributed ledger technology that's in the same pace to um, getting another getting other uh, ways to make those certificates more uh, tradable uh, and well uh, the carbon the carbon market it's going to be related with blockchain so and it will be more contested in the future this market this new market uh, vera vera in this case the organization that creates standards it, they are creating standards for carbon market because there they there can be so many scams so preventing preventing scams this this organization vera comes and so they they are trying to uh, create anti-fraud measures in this case and we got this we got this web3 uh, concern and this web3 connection with environmental impact and issues thank you thank you thank you you have you have you yes you 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 yourself you have a uh, a, a free free crypto with ftx by the link below uh, you have so much uh, offers in oficina tuya there in the link down below uh, we have so much we have so much uh, things to do in the links below and to comment in the comments and to see what it's going to happen in the next 
future because this is going to be amazing and thank you thank you i love you so much and see you in the next video <laughs>